Hi, I'm Jill with the Grace and Strength Lifestyle, and I have Hannah with me here tonight. And this is kind of a unique situation. Hannah is my sister-in-law, and I have had the absolute incredible opportunity of coaching her um, through her weight loss. Um, and it's been amazing. It's absolutely, our relationship is different. It's awesome. We've grown closer and I am just loving seeing all God's doing in her life. So Hannah, share with us a little bit about your, um, where you were maybe before you started Grace and Strength, um, and what God's brought you through in the process so far. Yeah. So before starting Grace and Strength, um, I was on, a weight loss journey, kind of up and down all the time. Like I'd gain weight, then lose it, then gain weight, then lose it. Um, I wasn't knowing what was good for my body and what was bad for my body. I just kind of went with the flow. And then when I was feeling awful, I was like, oh, I need to lose some weight. But I never actually got to the physical point where I wanted to be and where like my body wanted to be. So um, I joined Grace and Strength after a year being married to my husband and I knew I needed to do something for me. Um, I wasn't happy with myself. My marriage was kind of on the rocks, just emotionally struggling. Um, so I decided to join Jason, Grace and Strength. Um, my husband was very skeptical about it just because it is expensive, but it is so worth it. I will tell you that it has been worth Every single penny I've spent on grace and strength, I've learned so much about myself, how much God is in this for me, not just me doing it by myself. This is God, all God, glory to God. <laughs> um, I've realized in the past things have, I've let other people define me and I've been super caught up in um, what others think of me. I never really stepped back and realized how much God really cared about me and how he actually saw me. Like I'm a child of God. And um, I never really realized how dishonoring I was to God by the things I was putting in my body and how unhealthy I actually was living. So grace and strength has really brought that bigger picture into my mind and into my life as well. Good. Now tell us a little bit about, I know God's done stuff in your heart and in your life and things not even really related to grace and strength and to food particularly. Um, what has God kind of showed you and maybe taught you um, outside of food through this journey you've been on? Um, that's a good question. Um, he's really taught me to lean on him. Um, going to him for guidance through my prayer life, um, going to his word to show me what he truly wants from me. Um, I learned to kind of open myself up to, to others in regards to my testimony and of this journey of grace and strength and how I'm honoring God with my body because I get a lot of questions. Um, that's opened my heart in a ton of different ways, but those are just a few of them. That's exactly what I was talking about, especially with, you know, I know that you can do a lot. You're a strong, strong, strong girl. And you have done a lot of this, you know, like you had told me in your own strength and then getting to the point where you gave it to God and let him and kind of take control of the situation, which is hard sometimes, but totally worth it. And you can see the transformation in your life. Thank you so much for sharing with us. God has done incredible things in your life, and he's not done. That's the best part, is he's not done changing and kind of molding you into that wife and woman that he wants you to be. So thank you for sharing, Hannah.